Hey guys, I'm Isil and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install mod packs like this one here, Oralcraft. Or maybe you're looking for a mod pack like Rad or one of the FTB mod packs. Well, I'm going to show you how to download and install these mod packs right now. And the first thing that you're going to need to do is go to twitch.tv. First thing you will need to do once you get to twitch.tv is go to sign up. So make sure you create an account and then log in. Once you've logged into the Twitch app, the first thing that you will need to do is go to the top right hand side of the screen, click on your icon, and you'll need to decide whether you like this white background or go for a dark theme. I much prefer the dark theme, so I'm gonna be using that. Next, you need to go to the top left hand side of the screen and you'll see three little bars here. Click on that and go to file and then settings. Once you've clicked on settings, you're gonna get three options. Run Twitch on startup. That's when you start up your PC, will Twitch load up automatically. You can decide to turn that on or off. Software rendering mode, you can turn this on and off depending on how good your graphics card is. If you've just got integrated graphics, then I would recommend that you turn this on. However, if you've got a decent graphics card, I would leave it at off because it will determine whether you're using your graphics card and your CPU to run your mods and run Twitch. The next thing up here is when I close the app, you can choose to minimize the tray, hide Twitch or exit Twitch once you've opened up the app and you've started whatever mod pack you're using. The next thing that we'll go to here is Minecraft. And the first option here, which is the Minecraft path, that's the file where all of your files are gonna get downloaded to. So make sure you choose a hard drive where you've got plenty of space. The next one down here is your resolution. And I always switch this to on because this automatically detects the resolution of your screens and gives you the best performance and best look and feel from your Twitch app, whether you're using it to watch streamers or whether you're using it to play Minecraft mod packs. You can of course change this here manually. So if you have a HD monitor, you could put in 1920 by 1080 in here. When you do launch up a game, you have the option of closing the launcher, keeping the launcher open or hiding the launcher and reopen when the game closes. The benefit of this is that if you are playing a big mod pack and your PC isn't beefy enough, you want all of your resources going over to Minecraft, so I would suggest that you close launcher when the game starts. I have to state here that you must have Minecraft already installed on your PC, and I would recommend downloading the Minecraft launcher and the most up-to-date launcher on Minecraft.net. The final thing we need to look at here is the allocated memory, and this is the amount of memory from your RAM that you're allocating over to the mod packs and to the Twitch launcher. I would recommend that you allocate as much RAM as you can, depending on how much RAM you have in your PC. For mod packs, you're going to need at least two gigabytes of your RAM. I would absolutely suggest that you're using four gigabytes if you have that available. Because I've got so much RAM on my PC, then I allocate over eight gigabytes, and this ensures that I'm getting the smoothest performance from the mods and from the mod pack, and that it loads up really quickly. Once everything has been completed here, you then need to go up to mods, once you go into your mods and once you have Minecraft installed, it may show up here as kind of grayed out. That means that it may be missing one or two registries to be able to play on Twitch. So click on the install there and then you can back out again and come and come back in again using the back arrows and go back into mods and you're going to see that Minecraft will be highlighted and it will be bright. So we're going to click on Minecraft here and it says here no profiles currently installed. So here you can browse mod packs and you have a couple of options. You've got the, all of the mod packs, you've got the FTB mod packs, which Twitch is famous for, or of course over here you can search. You can also sort by which ones are popular. And for example, RL Craft is really popular at the moment. So I'm going to install RL Craft by Shivaxi. Now, depending on how many mods are in the mod pack, it can take quite a few minutes for it to install the mod pack for you. It also depends on how beefy your PC is and whether you've got a lot of RAM and a decent CPU. Just let it run and let the mods install and it will prompt you when it's done. So once it's been fully downloaded and installed, you'll see here that on the left hand side, it's gonna say play. You can also go to my mod packs. You can also see here that you've got your mod packs installed and you can play them from here. So I'm gonna press play here now. The first thing it's going to do is install a new version of Minecraft and this is into the files where you specified it earlier. Once Minecraft is installed, you'll need to log in with your Minecraft details. And then it's going to bring you to your native launcher. Before we press play down here, I need you first to go to installations. And then installations, click on Oralcraft. And it's going to pop up this window here. You need to change the resolution. I would suggest changing your resolution to auto here, so that way then it's gonna again, choose the resolution of your screen when you are playing Minecraft. 
if you click on more options down here, you'll also see that the 8 gigabytes that I allocated a while ago of my RAM is already in here. You can see here it says 8192. And once you've done that and changed this to auto, press save. Go back to play on the top left. And then we're going to press play here to play RL Craft. When you're logging in for the first time, this can take a little bit of time here, about a minute or two, for it to install all of the files. And when it does load all of those files, you're then going to get this screen. And this, depending on how much RAM and how much CPU you have in your computer, this can take a few minutes. There's a lot of mods to load in depending on your mod pack. So once all of your mods have loaded in, you're going to get this screen, which is obviously your Minecraft screen. But you're going to see in the bottom left hand side of the screen here, you're going to see all of the mods that have been loaded in, 114 mods. You can click in here and you can see a list of all of your mods as well. I have installed Optifine as well, and if you do want to install a new mod into your mod pack, then that's quite simple. However, word of caution, when you are installing a new mod, make sure that that mod is compatible with all of the other mods that you're using, because it can ruin everything and you may not know where you're going wrong and the launcher will not launch up. So as an example for that, I've got CurseForge here, and you can look for different mods in here in the CurseForge. Download one of those mods, and once you've downloaded, go back into your My Mod Packs, right click on the picture here and go to Open Folder. And that's going to bring you right into your Downloads folder for the mod pack that you're using. And in here you're going to see Mods, and in here you can drop the mod that you've just downloaded into this mod folder here. So this mod pack doesn't come with Optifine pre-installed, so I've just dropped it in here from a previous instance, or you can download your own version of Optifine in here. But you can see here that I have got Optifine installed now, and I've got 114 other mods. I also have my previous saves in here, so I'm going to click on the thumbnails one because this is my Let's Play series and it's an uncut version and I don't want to jump in there. And this is going to load up my world and I'm going to be right into my mod pack and I'm going to just switch on my shaders as well so that you can see. So here I am back in the world after installing RLCraft and Minecraft through the Twitch launcher. It may seem a lot more complicated than it actually is and I hope that you find that this tutorial is helpful for you to install mod packs. Mod packs are a hell of a lot of fun and I hope that you have as much fun as I do with mod packs. So anyway guys that's it for me in this tutorial. I am Isil. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. It would be great if you left a like in the video if you did. If you're new to the channel it would be great if you hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in another video. Bye bye.